We're gonna debate it. Then masticate it. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Please welcome one of the co-founders of Soul Pancake and host of the podcast Metaphysical Milkshake with Reza Aslan, our friend Rain Wilson. Yeah. Woo. All right, Rain. Welcome to the show, man. So, hey. what is your what is your favorite non-medical <laughs> or metaphysical milkshake? Not medical. <laughs> non-medical milkshake. I've had a medical milkshake. I've never had a medical milkshake. That sounds delicious. A medicinal milkshake. Um, you know, like if you can't take if you need a liquid and diet. Oxycodone. <laughs> um, uh, my favorite non-metaphysical milkshake is yeah. you know I'm uh I like the ones with the with the I'm partial to the ones with peanut butter in them. Ooh, oh yeah. yeah. Right? That's my favorite. Right? 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 Yeah. You're on the you're on the right show. Right? No, not okay. even chocolate. Just peanut butter. Something with the peanut butter in it is always just like, oh, that's good. It satisfies. Well, I don't yes. know if we're going to get any of that today. Please, <laughs> come on. But nope. we know you like to dabble in philosophy. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you like to dabble in philosophy, ethics, and you like milkshakes, so we got just the game for you. It's time for Choose Wisely with Rain Wilson. But here's what's going to happen. We're going to be presented with two seemingly identical milkshakes, and in each round, we hope to choose the good shake. Of course, that means there's also going to be a bad shake. Uh oh. How bad? I don't know. Do we have to chew it? I don't know. Okay, no. here's what we did. We asked you, Mythical Beasts, what you would do in a range of hypothetical moral dilemmas. And now we have to guess what the majority of you answered. Each answer is represented by a milkshake. Mm -hmm. And to make our choice, we gotta sip the shake we think corresponds to the right answer. Why are you making uh, that face? <laughs> just, I don't know, like, I, I picture you guys with the bad milkshake with like dead bugs and, and tar don't in it. Don't picture you guys, tar. picture like, us. I think tar is poison. All right, we're in yeah. this together, but this will make you feel better. The winner gets a metaphysical mind read from Rain Wilson. <laughs> hey, all right. Let's play. Okay, here is our first moral dilemma. You are forced to choose between learning exactly when and how you die or when and how your loved ones will die. You must choose one, but you cannot share the information. Which do you choose? Okay, and let's reveal what's at stake okay. here. Okay. okay, it so. looks to be some sort of just like a vanilla shake type of thing. Yeah, yeah, they Pretty look innocent. Uh, yeah, this one represents kind of um, delicious. Knowing when you, when and how you're going to die, yeah. and if you drink this, that means you think that they voted that they would prefer to, to find out know when, when their loved ones. And so, dying. and I assume we're talking about like a loved one. So well, somebody... it's your loved ones. That sounds like your okay. wife and parents and cousins. Okay. Well, I mean, so I, let's, let's say your immediate. I try to family. limit my loved ones. It's just kind of yeah. You have a very small, tight yeah. circle of loved ones. Let's let's say your immediate family. Okay. I feel like if you if you wanting to know about yourself, isn't that more selfish, or is it? Hold on, but just think it. Play it out. If you knew like when your wife was going to die. And you couldn't tell. And her. you can't share it. That's the whole thing. It's the not sharing that uh, presents the moral dilemma. Because if I knew when my wife or parents were going to die, and I'm like hanging out with them, and I'm thinking like this Thursday, June twentieth, oh. and I can't tell them, then that I I couldn't live with that. I would choose myself. I would. I would. Choose I would absolutely to know myself. choose myself. Oh really? Y'all yeah. are selfish. I don't think it's selfish. I think it's actually I, less. Selfish. I think it's less selfish because I can't. I couldn't live and not be telling my loved ones when they were gonna die yeah. if I had that information. Did yeah. they think it through like this? I Let's think, each take I, our straws. I, I, I think so. Are you gonna go with the? You're and gonna make, go with the loved one? You make good points. Yeah, we made. But we made great points. I, I, I want to make the most of. Yeah, I want to make the most okay. of my relationships. Okay. Pooper, get off the pot here. Go. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Three, two, dink it, it, and sink it. Sink it. <laughs> pretty good, this is pretty good. Salty! Not bad. <laughs> yeah. It's a salt milkshake. <laughs> it is, because 67% of the mythical bees said that they would choose to learn how they would die. Yeah, because you're all right. Well, two thirds of it. I'm having to drink some water. I have the next ethical dilemma. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice, uh -huh. nice ring to it. Right. With the press of a button, you have the ability to end all illness and disease in the world forever. <laughs> Done. However, by pushing this button, you will also in turn prevent the human race from any further technological advancements beyond the Ooh. date the button is pressed. Ooh. 
Do you press the button or not? Let's see what shakes are at stake. Wow. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's just strawberry. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Oh, I hope this is a hot shake. I bet it's carrot. a hot shake. All right, I, I've got a pretty strong opinion about this. Wow. I feel like, and I'm like a, I'm, I'm a futurist guy. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm all about the, you know, who is this? What Zoltan Ashfan? What's his name? The uh, Zoltan. Zoltan. Yeah. He's always, he's, he's always running for president, and he's the, uh, what do they call him? The, the transhumanist candidate. I don't, I don't know this guy. Yeah. He, can you get him on the show? Uh, well, I'm, that might be too far. Okay. okay. <laughs> he taught, he needs to be on your show. Oh, yeah. 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 He's a super Maybe? interesting yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, we can get him on your show. So I'm all about like moving forward with the technology, but why are we doing it, right? I mean, isn't one of the reasons we're doing it to basically improve life for hu for humanity? Sure, yeah. And so if we can press a button and get rid of all the stuff we're trying to get away from, then it's kind of like, sure, we'll be, we'll be fine with iPhone 10s or 11s or whatever. We don't need a 12. Yeah, but no space travel. And you don't know what we could unlock. What, a cure to all diseases? Okay. Hey, I already got it, I pressed the button. Okay. So here's here's how, here's what I think. So I think that if I had that ability, I would press the button. Um, what if? But I think the right thing is to not press the button. But I think the voters voted to, to press, press the, the button. button. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this because I don't want to taste cat. <laughs> <laughs> because that's clearly what's in there. I, I believe that they know that an alien civilization is going to come in war, not peace, and we better hope that we've technologically advanced enough to keep the human race going. And so, yes, long term, the, the suffering quotient has to no, be. No, but the problem is they're gonna give us diseases when they when the aliens show up, but not in my world because- Alien viruses? Yeah. Yeah. We, we're gonna want to have diseases to give them because that's how we're gonna do them in. Oh, boy, I'm really not looking forward to this. So we're pressing the button over Don't here. Don't press the button. Press the button. Clink. <laughs> and sink. And sink. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh. What did you get? What did you get? It's hot. <laughs> oh. Well, it's got a little kick, doesn't it? Sriracha? But the or thing is, it... you agree with me. Yeah, but I, I went, I, I, I you used, were right. And I, <laughs> this one was really went. close though, because only 53% oh, 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 said they would. It could have been button. anybody's we game. It, we got it, we got it. I got freaking dragon bread. All right, yes, I'm behind, but hey, this one's worth three points, because okay, they're can, increasing the round. Rain? Right. You've got the dilemma. I got the rain. dilemma, all right, here we go. <clears throat> here we go, mythical beasts. Your friend falls into quicksand. Mm. Bummer. Seven feet away is the cure for cancer. <laughs> you only have time to either save your friend or get the cure. So it's like, oh, help me, help me, I'm dying. Like, can't, here's the cure for cancer in this vial over here. Ah, they're sinking, they're sinking. Three, two, one, you can die for one. Which one do you choose? Very dramatic. Yeah. yeah, I acted it out a little bit. This is essentially uh, a complicated, a more complex version of the trolley problem. Yeah, right? this is the trolley, yeah. Let's so, see what we've got, Mr. Trolley Problem. We're gonna save your friend, or you're gonna- Save the friend, this looks like a cancer. delicious chocolate milkshake here. Maybe yep. some peanut butter in it. And I'm, and I'm always, my consistent answer to the trolley problem is the most net benefit. Regardless of your, you, of your relationship with the person. Yep. But so he's right I, there I'm staring always you in the eye. Do the cure for cancer. It could be my wife, it, it, even the other quicksand, it could be like my wife and my mom <laughs> and my dogs <laughs> and my dad the and, whole family. and Steve Carell. <laughs> and, and, and I would still choose the cancer. Yeah. Like, I, I'm with we, you. I mean, we could load it. We could put the whole office cast in there. <laughs> we'll put you guys. They had a good run. Um, <laughs> yeah. They, you know, I've actually like mentally prepared myself for this kind of choice because okay. I, because I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but because I've thought about the trolley problem, I'm like when it happens, I've told my kids, See, like guys, when it happens, you're you're gone. If I can save more people who I don't know, that's what I'm going to do. That's my moral so you compass. Have a, you have a healthy uh, emotional remove from your yeah, yeah, friends yeah. and family. I mean, my kids so, can be annoying anyway. So sure, this one seems like the easiest one so far. 
Oh, really? I, 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 I now I'm doubting everything because Link chose it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I, I, it was so yeah, uh -oh. clear to me. I'm just, just going for this one. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, when is this one saving your friend? This is save the um, friend. No, no. Fine, I, I, fine, I'm going, do it. I'm going no, fine, do it. We're all, we're all in on cancer here. Think it. Plink. And sink it. Yeah, chocolate. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It tastes hot and salty. You should to be me. enjoying a nice chocolate milkshake right now because 54% of the mythical beasts that save the all? cure That's all? Why? You're kidding me. I guess those are really good friends. No, but hold on a second. Yeah. There's something really wrong with your pants. <laughs> <laughs> that, that 40, Let him have it. That 46% would be like, I need to save Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last. Dilemma, it's a short one. If you had the chance to go back in time and kill Hitler as a baby, would you do it? Yes, yes, where is it? <laughs> it's not even open yet. Yes. <laughs> okay, whoa, you're drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I know I just. Well, you know what, I'm gonna choose this one. <laughs> Oh my God, that was terrible. You, hold on, are, is he faking? Is he faking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's faking. Uh, how could they not choose to kill baby Hitler? Yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah, exactly. absolutely you would choose Hitler. Well, but apparently wait, that's wait, not the right why are you, answer. Why are you, wait. Hold on, wait, which, why did I thought you, you were faking. Which one did I grab? I grabbed the right one. Right? Okay, so That's yes, sour. so the, That's the, very sour. the oh. choice that the mythical beast oh. made You're crying. That's good. was that 57% of them said that they would not kill baby Hitler. What? I don't Why? understand that. Yeah. Is, who is are you there, anyway? I don't even know who you are. May, maybe, maybe you guys can discuss why they might have done that, but I... There is a, there well, is yeah, a, uh, I've actually... I've never considered this question, but I've heard people talk about Ooh. something r related to this Ugh. that didn't make me question it, but I can't remember the reasoning at this point. Well, because it's a little baby, you might as well let him get a little bit older. You know, kill it. You know what? Kill here's him as what a toddler. I, here's what I would do. Kill him as a toddler. I would... Toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> You're not digging yourself out yeah, of yeah. that one. <laughs> like, kill him as a two-year-old. No, no. <laughs> two-year-old. Yeah, I would say when he's most annoying. Kill the art school teacher that didn't let him get into art school and then uh, take his place as the head of this art school and then let Hitler into art school. Oh, so you're gonna stay there for a while in the in the past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna build a you're, life. You're gonna have a I'm gonna life. meet a nice Austrian Fraulein and <laughs> have a life. It's Why not? That or be a, I, have some baby so I think that the, the idea is that <laughs> The whole Nazi thing was bigger than just Hitler, and if you killed Hitler, someone else would have just done the same thing. I think that's the argument, but I'd still kill the baby. <laughs> I, I can't imagine what the argument is. It's just like, well, that will, that will, that's unethical to do kind of time travel. Meddling. We're reaching we're guys. Time to travel murder. We're, we're trying you to get inside your here? minds, mythical beasties, but it's not really working. Uh, Rhett, this means that you win, but I do recommend tasting that sour. It'll oh, really wake you know, up. I had the good one. It'll wake you up. I grabbed it from yeah. somewhere. Come on, really just good. give it a it's... shot. Just give it a shot. Give Is the nastiest it? shot. Oh wow, he's gonna love it. Wow. Be sure to check really? out Soul Pancake <laughs> and <laughs> Metaphysical Milkshake uh, Reigns Podcast, which releases new episodes every Wednesday on Luminary. And I get my metaphysical mind read from Rain because I won. You won. Yeah, <clears throat> only because you showed me the answer. Um, my uh, metaphysical mind read is um, <laughs> your children are going to uh, grow up really resenting you and needing a lot of therapy because of this trolley problem that you've posed to them, oh, and God. you need to you need to uh, you need to heal the, those wounds that you've created. Them knowing that their lives are expendable. Oh, so I should lie to them, but still kill them in the event of the trolley problem. Yes. Okay. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Danny. And we're on our honeymoon in Ireland. And, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You know, they make this thing you can put over a microphone that kind of <laughs> cancels wind, out the wind. wind I, I would say they're definitely hiding something. <laughs> <laughs> Click the top link to watch us play Am I the A-Hole in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Keep us close to your heart with our mythical necklaces, available now at mythical.com.